Welcome back to the series where I turn your video game ideas into reality. If you want to see your idea in one of these videos, all you gotta do is subscribe and comment below. The winner for this episode comes from Defo367. He says, bro, you are too skilled. I gave you a sub. Let's go, bro. Thank you. Just asking, can you make a slow motion type of game with parkour? Mm, I don't know, bro. That sounds like a lot of work. Maybe that's too much. Bro, you're really trying to- Okay, Loki, this isn't even going to be that hard because I already made a controller from one of the last videos. So we just put it into a nice little area and we've got like the basis going. There's a problem though. If we look straight up, you can see that happens. Let me see if I can explain what's going on and how I want to fix it. So basically, if you think of the rotation of the camera as happening in a circle, in the center, the radius is going to be much bigger. So it turns slower. But as we start looking higher up a little bit, that radius shrinks, so it spins a lot quicker around the axes. And then as we get higher and higher and higher, it keeps going quicker until eventually we hit the very top. And it's like maybe even like zero radius and it just bugs out. It goes crazy. So let's see if we can fix that. It can't be that hard, right? Here goes another golden session. It's better to distract you from the fact that I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's see if that'll fix anything Oh no, we're going sideways We need to lock the rotation somehow I'm going to get vertigo, please stop Okay, wait, I think it's working now Everything seems normal Wait, why are we completely upside down? How do you even mess up so badly? At this rate, it's gonna take a couple years to fix this camera system At this rate, it's gonna take a couple years to fix this camera system Okay, so after a ton of failed attempts, I finally got something working where you look up like that and it locks, look down and it locks, everything looks perfect, everything seems normal, controller's so much better than before. How did I do that exactly? Well, I stole some code off the internet. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, next improvement. So the one thing I noticed when I was playtesting is that currently we calculate if you can jump or not based on if you're on the ground. So if you click like a couple frames before you touch the ground, it doesn't register, which feels really unsatisfying. Pretty much every platformer does this where there's a little bit of give. I know it sounds lame, but like think about how bad it would be if you were playing a game where it had to be like pixel perfect like that. All right, boys, we got it. We just got to click it perfectly. No, I was a little bit too early. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We can click a little late. No, I was too late. Okay, okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. Lock in. Yes. No! So basically what I did to fix this is we shoot a laser straight into the ground. And anytime it's touching the ground, even though the player isn't there yet, if you click the jump during that time, then it toggles something to say, yes, we did jump. Just wait until we touch the ground and then we can jump. That way there's a little bit more give in it and it'll feel a lot more satisfying. So you can see the results here. You kind of have to play it to see what I'm talking about, but it already it feels so much more satisfying and professional even though we're kind of just cheating not only that but i also got our first prototype of the slow motion mechanic we we're talking about working so you can see here as we jump if we stop moving the second we get off the ground it goes into slow-mo like this to where you can see everything happening and then when you click any of the arrow keys it starts moving in real time again I really like the vignette and all the post-processing. It makes it look so professional, even though it's not actually that complicated. So the question now is, what can we do with this? Well, we're going to go through a quick playthrough of the game so far, and I'll show you what this mechanic feels like in-game. As we jump between platforms, we can now go into slow-mo like this and allow it to get like quicker to the next one so you can see exactly where everything is ahead of time. But honestly, bro, like jump here, and uh, we can get there in time. Oh. Bro, honestly, I think it would be easier to just not use the slow-mo mechanic. Like, probably the less you use it, the easier it is. Like, let's try it. Yeah, we literally got it first try. So I did a little bit of brainstorming, absolutely just using my own intuition, not cheating whatsoever. And after a lot of really deep thinking, I ended up coming up with a new idea. So first thing I did is I made the jump a lot higher so that you have more time in the air to react to things. And then I came up with this new mechanic to where as soon as you go into slow-mo, there's obstacles you can see that you can't see normally. They're invisible until you go into that mode. So now you have to balance trying to like quickly switch between the two to where you know where you're going. And the results, as you can see right here, are kind of awesome. I actually feel like a superhero while I'm doing this, bro. Like, Okay, we've got all these balls right here that are bouncing between the two pillars, but 
they might look invisible but i can just jump up here and just like that we avoid them let's go it feels so good bro anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments if you got any ideas that you want to see in the next video just leave a comment make sure to be subscribed to the channel and i'll see you in the next one